In this video, let's see another IITJ problem based on the chapter of continuity and differentiability. The question is, if x square plus y square equal to 1, then what of these four options is correct? And the question has been asked in the IITJ examination in the year 2000 for one mark. Let's write the Edinger solution and we'll be starting with the solution. Have a careful look at the options. They are in y, y dash, y double dash, here also y, y dash, y double dash. That means you are required to find out the higher order derivatives also. So this question is based on the higher order derivatives. y means a simple given function, y dash means the first order derivative, y double dash means the second order derivative. So let's take into consideration the given equation, it is x square plus y square equal to 1. In order to obtain any of these four correct options, first let's differentiate. So I write differentiating 1 with respect to x. I have actually written what? di double f as a short form. Please do not write the short form in your examinations. This is just for our convenience, right? So differentiating x square gives me 2x. y square differentiation is what? 2y and dy by dx dy by dx is written y dash because in this question everywhere you find y dash is equal to 1 is equal to 1 being a constant let's make it 0 now you have got something of this sort let's take 2 common so it becomes x plus y y dash is equal to 0 and let's name this as equation number 2 still any of the options does not match because the option also has y double dash everywhere so we have to again differentiate so i write differentiating again in short 2 with respect to x. What does it become? x differentiation is 1. Why 1? Because the differentiation of a variable with respect to itself is 1. Then y and y dash are the two different terms. We have to apply the product rule in case of differentiation. So leave y as it is, differentiate y dash, it becomes y double dash plus leave y dash as it is. I again repeat, leave y dash as it is and differentiate y, it becomes y dash. So that is equal to 0. Now what you can do is, you can actually see what interest is given to us by this. You can actually see how we are going to go about it. You see that y y double dash is there, here also y y double dash is there. So y y double dash is there. But what about the other terms? So it is nothing but 1 plus y y double dash y dash multiplied by y dash is nothing but y dash square is equal to 0. So this is the final equation and this final equation let's see it matches which option. So it should be all in plus first thing but it has in minus so a cannot be the answer, it has in minus c cannot be the answer either b or d. Let's match it so it basically matches option number b y y double dash plus y dash square plus 1 equal to 0. So you see that the question was very easy if you see the options. So in competitive exams, it is always advisable to have a look at the options also before starting the question.